Checkers, what are we drawing today? A snow owl. This snow owl is gonna turn out amazing, I promise. It looks a little challenging, but it's gonna be a little easier than you think because we're gonna take it a step at a time. Yes. So we hope you're gonna follow along with us. And if we go too fast, you can always- Pause the video. Yeah, you can always pause the video. Okay, we have a lot of art supplies for this, so let's talk about them. Okay. We are gonna use our Sharpies, but we also have a pencil and we have our colored pencils too. So we have a blue, we're gonna use this for the background, black for the texture on our owl, orange for his eyes, gray for the shading, and white to do blending. And we have two sheets of paper because we don't want our marker to go through one sheet of paper and onto the table. So let's put our colored pencils off to the side and our Sharpie, we're gonna start with our pencil. Now we're gonna start by drawing his head right in the middle of the paper and we're gonna draw a circle. And we wanna press extremely light so that we can erase these lines. So I'm gonna draw a circle, we don't want it too big. You can draw it light so that if you think it's too small, you can draw it a little bit bigger. And if it's too big, you can erase it and then start over and draw it smaller. That's the nice thing about pencils. Yes. We don't want to worry about trying to make it look perfect though, because these are just guidelines. Okay, so now let's draw his body and it's going to look like a curved bean. So we're going to curve, we're going to curve his belly like this. And then we're gonna start over here on his back and we're gonna curve also the same direction, but come down to a little point and curve it. So it looks like a bean shape. And if you want, you guys can pause the video just to get these shapes the way that you want them. Okay, now let's draw his wings. We're gonna start here, in the top of his head, and we're gonna curve up. Looks like a little horn coming out of his head. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Curve up. Looks like horns. Yes. <laughs> now the top of each of these horns, we're gonna curve the other direction up into the corner. Look at that. There's his wingspan. It's really cool. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now we're gonna draw the bottom of his wings. We're gonna start up here and curve down to the bottom of his body. Isn't that a cool wing shape, huh? Yes. Good, now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Curve down and into the bottom of his body. Oh, it looks so awesome. Now let's draw his tail. We'll draw a diagonal line that comes out on both sides. Good, and then we'll connect with the curved line. Okay, now let's go back to the wings. I forgot, we need one more guideline that splits his wing right down the middle. So we're gonna draw another curve right here that comes down and connects into his body. So he's got his short feathers up here on the top part and his long flight feathers down here. So we'll do the same thing over here. Good. Now, let's draw his feet. And we're gonna draw circles just as guides. So we'll draw a circle about that size. Our owl is going to be looking to the left. Good job. Now you can erase some of those extra lines so it doesn't get confusing. And then we're gonna draw another circle down here, lower and to the right. Good, now let's connect the top of this circle to his body. And then the bottom of the circle will connect to the, to the little circle. Now his right foot, we're gonna connect the top of that circle and curve up to the middle of his body. Then the bottom of the circle will connect to the side of his body. There's his leg and his feet. Now let's draw some guidelines for his face so that we can get the details right. I'm gonna put a big circle in the bottom right of the head. Yeah, cool. And then over here, we're gonna do an oval. Owls have this big design that goes around their eyes, and then their eyes are smaller inside of that. Okay, so we're gonna draw another circle right here in the left of that one. And then we'll draw another circle, or actually an oval, to the right of this one. 
He looks a little cross-eyed, but he'll look cooler at the end. Now let's draw the guidelines for his beak. We're going to draw a V-shape that's curved in between and connect those two circles. Good! We did it, man! Let's put our pencils off to the side. We're still going to use our erasers later to erase the guidelines, but let's get our Sharpies. Let's start by inking his head. So we're going to start here and we're going to draw the top of his head. So we're going to start right here, go right along those pencil lines and into the side. So a little upside down U shape. Good. Now let's draw the details on his face. Right inside of this circle, we're going to draw a smaller circle. Okay, and then I'm going to color it in but leave a little white highlight. And then let's do the same thing on the other side. Little oval, color it in except for a white highlight. Now let's draw his eyelids. So he's going to be angry, so let's do a curve that goes over this eye and a curve over the other eye. Okay, and now we're going to draw the bottom of his eyes, draw a U-shape underneath, and a U-shape underneath this one. Okay, now let's draw the top of his eyebrows. So we're going to draw a curve right there, and then it's going to S-curve over the guide, the guide pencil lines. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. Curve this direction, and then follow the guideline over his eye. Cool, he looks really awesome, dude. Yes. All right, now let's draw his beak. We're gonna follow those the pencil lines. Now right above his beak, we're gonna put some texture or some feathers in there. We're gonna do zigzag lines that go over his beak, and we want these to be messy. Some are big and some are small. And I'm gonna go right over here underneath his cheek. Now let's color in his beak, black. That's okay, your beak got a little long, and that's all right, we can practice. The looks next... like a woodpecker. Yeah, a little, it's a little long for an owl, that's okay. Because the next time we do it, right, it'll always turn out better than the first time. Yes. And we're practicing, and the most important thing is... To have fun. To have fun. So when we draw our beaks, we can make sure that the next time we curve the beak a little bit and make it shorter. But let's keep going. Let's draw the feathers that go underneath his beak. So I'm gonna draw another Little one right here under his cheek and connect up to that line that we started. And then we're going to come behind his beak and draw some more feathers underneath his cheek. Cool. Now let's draw his belly and we're going to come down here. And then we're going to come out. Okay, let's draw his claws next. Right inside of the circle, we're going to draw a V shape. A curved V, so it looks like a claw. And then we'll connect the top and color it in. Now let's draw another one over here. Curved V. Connect the top, color it in. Now we're going to draw an A, a curved A shape. Connect the bottom and then color it in. There's his claws. Now snow owls have feathers on their talons because they need to stay warm. So we're going to use little zigzags for feather texture to connect to that left talon. Nice. Now down here, let's connect into that circle, the guide circle. Perfect. Now in between this left claw and the bottom claw, let's do a zigzag like that. And we're done. We're done with that foot. Let's draw the next foot. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to draw a curve V, connect the top, and then color it in. We'll draw another curve V right next to it. Connect the top, color it in. Good. And then we'll draw one more. We'll draw an A shape, curved A at the bottom. Connect the bottom and color it in. Okay, now let's draw his legs. It's going to start up here, we're going to come down, and then as we get closer to his talons, let's draw some zigzags, small little zigzags for the feather texture. 
and then we're going to do the same thing going back into his body. So I'm going to start here, and these feathers back here, I'm going to draw a zigzag further up his leg. Yeah, and then when we get close to his body, I'm going to go up. And we can even add another bigger zigzag if we want, going up to his head. <laughs> he looks really cool, man. Now, right down here, let's connect his talon. So we'll draw the inside of his foot. We'll connect the top to the bottom. What should we draw next, truckers? His wings! His wings? Are you having fun? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> We're going to draw the top of his wing first. So we're going to draw this S line. It comes up. We're going to follow those pencil lines that we drew all the way up to that middle line. Good. And then right at the end, draw a little feather. Okay. Now we're going to come back down this middle line with zigzags, messy zigzags. These are for the short feathers. Now let's do the same thing. We're gonna repeat those exact same steps on this side. Now inside of these short feathers, let's add more texture. I'm gonna do more zigzags and space them out. And you don't want it to look perfect because it's nature, right? Yeah. Next, let's draw his flight feathers. So let's draw this first flight feather. It comes out, and we stop at where our guide pencil is. And then we're going to draw a short line, diagonal line, coming back. And then we'll go into his wing. Now we're going to come back out. Short line back and into his wing. Good. Now we're going to go all the way around his wing doing those same steps, but we want to make sure that as we come down, so I'm going to use my marker. Watch this. When we draw our feathers, we're going to come down his wing and the feathers are going to turn like a fan. Okay. So they're going to come down his wing and rotate so that they're in line with his body. All right. So we're going to fast forward this part, but we're going to repeat those exact same steps. Okay. Okay. Let's do it right, right now. now. I really like how well you drew your feathers, man. You did a great job. Now we're going to repeat those exact same steps on the other wing. Okay. You ready? Yes. Let's do it. Right now. <laughs> All right, dude, we finished the wings. Now let's draw his tail. We're gonna use the same steps that we did on the wings, except some of the feathers are going one direction and some are going the other direction. So on the left side, we'll start over here. We'll draw one line that comes out, a short diagonal line back, and then we'll connect back into his body. And we'll repeat that and come all the way down to the halfway mark on his tail. See how they're fanning as they come across? Okay, so I hit halfway. Oh, cool, I like how you did it too. You started in the middle, and that's because you already know what we're gonna do. So on this side, I'm gonna start this way, and I'm gonna draw a diagonal line that comes back, and then into his body. See how this tail feather matches the wings on this side, and these tail feathers match the wings on this side. So then when we get down to the middle, we're just going to end it like that. We'll have some of his feathers going one direction and some going the other direction. Checkers, man, good job. Give me five. You did awesome on drawing your owl. We're done with our markers, so let's put those off to the side. We're going to get our erasers, and we're going to erase all of the pencil marks. Now we can put our pencils off to the side, and let's get our colored pencils. We're going to first start by coloring in the orange on his eyes. Now we're gonna use our gray to do shading. And we're gonna shade right along the, the middle line. So in between the short feathers and the long feathers. 
we're going to shade the long feathers like this. So we'll go right down with short strokes, go all the way around his wing, and we'll do the same thing on this side. Now let's add a shadow underneath his legs and on his tail feathers. We can also add a shadow under each of these detail zigzag lines on his short feathers. Next, let's shade his body. We're going to shade the left side of his belly and come down in between his legs and even shade a little underneath his, his leg on this side. Then we can also add a shadow underneath his neck. Then we can shade his eyebrows. Let's add one more shadow right on the left side of his head, but on the, on the wing part, so that his wing looks like it's behind his body. And let's, let's do the same thing on the other side too, just for fun. Now we're going to use our white pencil next, and we're going to use this to blend out the gray pencil marks. This works really well with Prismacolor brand color pencils, but if you don't have this type, you can even just leave this step off. The last thing we're going to do with our white colored pencil is add highlights to the black, to his black beak and also his black talons. So you want to make sure that you have a sharp uh, point on your pencil and we can go right over the black marker. Isn't that cool? Adds a little highlight right on the beak. And then we can do the same thing on each of the talons. Like that. Just do a little curve. Now that white just adds that extra little highlight to make his talons and his beak look like a different texture. Makes it look shiny. Okay, let's put that off to the side. We're done with our white, and now let's get our black. This is the really fun part. We're gonna add the spots to our snow owl, and it's a really cool texture. So let's start on his wings, and we're gonna start right here close to his body, and we're just gonna use short strokes, and we're gonna add little spots that go around his wings. They go up and they follow the same line, the same guideline that we created in the beginning. And these spots can be messy too. You don't have to make them look perfect. We just use short zigzag strokes to create the spot. Now we're going to come back down here and we're going to start and we're going to put another row down here at the bottom of his wing feathers. Now let's repeat those same steps on the other wing. Was that fun? Yes. His wings look really cool now that they have that nice texture on there. Let's add that same texture to his tail feathers. We'll start up close to his, his feet and we'll put one row around and we'll make sure that that's a curved, a curved line. So we'll go down and then back up. Then we'll skip and we'll create another row down on the bottom of his tail feathers. Now the last step is to add this texture, some spots, to his body. We're going to use the same technique. We'll do short little strokes up and down. Then we'll move to another spot on his body and create more spots. Look at that. And you don't want these spots to look perfect either. You want them to look messy because it's nature and you want them to look natural. Checkers, man, we finished our owls. Give me five. Now we can leave it just like this, but let's use our blue and we're gonna color in the background. Now when we do this, we can add texture to the background to make it interesting. So when we draw the background, we'll draw longer strokes like this, and we can turn our paper and we'll do longer strokes going another direction and change it. We'll do long strokes going in a different direction and just go back and forth around your whole owl with that same texture and technique and it will look really cool. Make the background look really interesting. Checkers man, good job. Ooh. You did awesome on your snow out and I love the background. That texture looks really cool. It looks interesting and it's fun to look at. And I love coloring the background because it makes the owl pop out of the paper. Mm -hmm. He looks very realistic. You could be super proud of your owl. 
We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your snow owls with us. Remember, it's okay if your owls don't look exactly like ours. Have you ever even seen two owls in nature look exactly the same? I've even seen an owl. Oh. <laughs> So remember to practice, I promise the second time you draw your snow out, it'll turn out better than the first time. And remember the most important thing is to have fun! Yeah, to have fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! <laughs>